What's up everybody? I remember when I was in college, I started learning React JS and after 2-3 months of good practice, I became good at React JS and started creating projects in it. And I was really eager to show my work to the world. But I remember at that time there was very few cloud service providers who were offering their services for free. And since I was student at that time, I had no money to purchase cloud to deploy and show my work to the world. When I compare that time with today's date, things have changed a lot. In today's date, if you search, you will easily find 5 to 10 different service providers who provide their services for free. And using those services, we can deploy our website and showcase our work to the world. So in this video, we will create React.js website from scratch. We will deploy it using Versal. We will learn more about Versal in a moment. We will also see how to create CI CD pipeline for our website. So let's get started. This video is going to be really, really helpful specifically for students as well as it could be helpful for employee as well. They can easily create their website and showcase their work to the world. All right. So let's get started. So first of all, let's understand what is Versal. Versal is a front end cloud provider and they help us with building our website scaling it and securing it. And if I show you their pricing, they have one free plan as well, which is called hobby. So we are going to be using this plan and we will create CI CD pipeline for our website. So first thing first, we will need to create new account. So click on sign up. Now we need to choose this hobby plan and then we need to give any name. So I'll give a name. Let's say click on next. Now here you get multiple options. Okay, so let's say if you want to continue with email, you can click on here. But my personal recommendation will be either you will go with GitLab or GitHub because later in the video, we are going to we are going to create CI CD pipeline and ultimately you will need one GitHub repository. So in this case, this account login will be helpful. All right. So I'm going to go with GitHub. So if you see, I got logged in. And this account login was seamless for me because my I'm already logged in in GitHub. Okay, before you go for sign up or sign in, I will suggest you to log in your GitHub account in the same browser window so that Versal will automatically fetch your credentials from login account. All right, so now our account is ready. Now we will need to create our React.js project. So let me go back into my file manager. Let me create new folder. I will give this repo name demo react CI CD. All right. Now let's go inside this folder and open new terminal. All right. So now let's go back to our GitHub and let's create new repository. I'll give this name react demo one. I'll keep this repository public. Let's create new repository and here we have our new repository. Let's clone it locally. So to clone it command is git, git clone and we need to provide our GitHub HTTP URL. All right. So now our repository is cloned. We'll need to create react.js website. I'm not going to create react.js website from scratch instead of creating website from scratch, we will use boilerplate. For those who don't know what is boilerplate, boilerplate is a template which we can use to kickstart our application development process. So here I have selected one of the boilerplate. You can search it on a GitHub and copy any code base. So let's go ahead and download this boilerplate. Now let's extract this. And I will copy entire code base into our clone repository project. All right. Now it will be better if we delete package log.json file. And now we need to install dependencies. We will check whether this code base is working or not before we actually deploy it on Versal. All right, seems dependencies is installed. Now let's use npm start command and see if it actually works. 
All right, we can see this code is working. So now let's close this. And if we see, we have 18 changes in our repository, which is uncommitted. So first of all, we will need to commit this code base into our GitHub message. And let's push it. And let's check if this changes is available in my repository or not. So this is demo one repository. And it seems we have, okay. And we have new changes in this repository. So next step is we'll need to link this repository with Vercel in order to create CI CD pipeline. So in this home page, we get option to select specific repository or we can connect our entire GitHub account. So I will suggest to use specific GitHub repository. And if you are not logged in with GitHub, here you get option to log in with GitHub. If you have GitLab account, you can also use that. And if you have Bitbucket, you can also configure that. So in here, I'll click on install and I will select only specific repositories. And here I will get option to select particular repository. So in my case, my repository name is react hyphen demo one. I'll select this and I'll click on install. Once the repository is connected, we need to click on import. And here you get option to define some basic configuration. I will not change anything. I will keep everything by default and let's click on deploy. Now our ReactJS website deployment started. You can see now it is building. Next step will be deployment summary. Then it will start running our ReactJS website. So let's wait until this entire process gets complete. Well, it seems deployment successful. Let's continue with dashboard. And here we will get our application deployment status and Vercel will by default assign one domain name for our application. So the link that you get to see here, we need to just click on this in order to see our deployed website. So you can share this link with anyone and they will be able to see your work. Now let's see how we can create CI/CD pipeline for this website. So let's make changes in our application. So I will simply change this message. Let's save this. And now you see we have made one change. Now we need to commit this change. Now the way these things will work is as soon as I will commit anything in my GitHub repository, Vercel will automatically detect it and it will create new build of that code base and it will redeploy it. Okay. So let's go and commit new changes. Now here we don't need to do anything. You see here it is showing repository updated just now and Vercel will automatically start creating its new build. Now if I refresh this page, you can see our updated message available here. So with this way, we can deploy our ReactJS website completely for free as well as we can create CI CD pipeline for this. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.